Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. We're brought to you by the Navy Federal Credit Union. Always pleased to shine the light on Navy volleyball with the great Maggie Bodman. And Maggie, for you guys, at, as we trend toward the end of the season, teams have to find energy. I mean, it's a it's been a long road since you all started this journey. How much does having Lehigh and Army on the marquee this week and knowing you're going to be in the Patriot League tournament and have a chance to achieve your goals, how much does that help you all find that energy at this time of year? It, it helps a lot. I think uh, going into this weekend, uh, obviously the star match is a huge deal for us. It's We set a goal at the beginning of the year to take home a star, um, but also Lehigh is, is a great team to play, especially going into postseason play because they're going to help us um, get like playing them, like will help us expose exactly what we need to tweak right before um, postseason. But also I think um, playing a competitive team like that and army as well, will just help us get in the groove of things and hopefully gain um, a competitive edge and some confidence going into postseason. I think um, being on our home floor is also just a, a great perk too. I think we, we, we really have, a uh, good standout selection of fans. So that helps. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're looking forward to it for sure. The fact that you do get Friday in between those two matches and they're not back to back, just the fact that you get that 24 hour break, how much does that help? Because you guys play a ton of back to back uh, Friday, yeah. Saturday stuff. So you know what that's all about, but, but just how much can that 24 hour breather give you all? It makes a huge difference in terms of just resting, recovering. It helps that uh, there's no class on Friday, Veterans Day. So, um, yeah, we're definitely going to use that to the our max benefit. Um, but, yeah, I think we're so used to playing back-to-back headers. But so this this one day in between, I think we have we have a team bonding um, activity together so we can just spend time together, but also just focusing on like laying low and conserving energy for the star match, because that is also just one of the most draining matches emotionally and physically that we, we play in all season. So just preparing for that. And then also just making sure we're mentally prepared in terms of visualization and cohesion on the team. So it's definitely going to help us a lot for sure. You just kind of led me into my next question. Can you kind of take us inside what the environment is like for an Army-Navy match? Because at both places, the environment is crazy. It's loud. And, you know, you know what wins over the other uh, mean for uh, e- each other uh, w- within this rivalry. But what's what's it like to be on the floor and, and, and participate in something that so very few of us get a chance to experience? It's really a privilege to participate in an Army Navy match. I would say the feeling out there is oftentimes just indescribable. You really only get to fully understand it if you get to experience it personally. Um, but no, yeah, it's just a great it's a great time to lean on each other as teammates. It's obviously there's a lot of pressure revolving around the game. So it's about who at the end of the day can handle that pressure and execute in the best way possible. And so we just, we really focus on um, how we can give to our teammates and how we can support each other. So each one of us can do the best we can personally. So that's what we've been kind of working, working through this week and uh, preparing ourselves for that. Is it, is it like, is it is does it feel like the gladiator in the middle of the Coliseum that it looks like? I know from broadcasting it from up above, that, that's kind of the feeling I get and what I describe to people because that that's kind of what it looks like to me. Yeah, oftentimes, like especially during the really exciting points and the crowd gets really loud. And obviously the environment in Westby is very intimate in terms of how close our fans are to the court. Like they're essentially like right there. Um, and sometimes we like we have players running off into the stands towards the fans to keep a, keep a ball alive. So there's some really exciting points where you just get super excited and you hear the crowd around you and you're with your teammates out there and you're like, wow, this is a really amazing moment. Like taking this moment in while also trying to focus on the game. It's, it's, it's a, it's a hard balance, but no, it definitely is. It feels it it's like I said earlier, it's almost indescribable. It's really exciting. And it, 
it's one of those moments you have here at the academy where it makes you realize like why you're do like what why you're doing what you're doing and I think a lot of it comes from just the camaraderie you have um, in an Army Navy match. I think the the girls across the net from you, um, yeah, you're competing with them that night, but at the end of the day, like we're all on the same team, so that's why it just becomes such a competitive night. And so, uh, yeah, we're we're really grateful for the experience. I think. You know, I love this sport, and you know, I I love broadcasting it. You. As a father of athletes myself, I know what kind of time the volleyball player and their families put into this to achieve this level. But for you and your teammates to use this platform and this sport to get the very best education uh, that you can, does all that time you've put in seem like it's worth it now as you're starting to get you know toward this part of the journey right here? I would say 100%, 100%. I think every single girl on the team realizes that being at this school is is an amazing opportunity and um, being on the Navy volleyball team is an amazing opportunity. Um, And so I think we realize every day that the sacrifices we make being not only a a student athlete, but a midshipman at the Naval Academy, every sacrifice is worth it in the end. Um, And I think it's easier as first sees to realize that. And as you get older as, and become an upperclassman to realize where all your sacrifices that you made as a plebe and a, as a youngster and how those really translate. Um, but yeah, I think it's just, it's amazing to make it through really challenging four years and look back on the experience um, and realize like oh wow it was it was all worth it it was all worth it in the end like there's some days that are just super hard at the naval academy and i think everyone can speak to that but um yeah seeing that translated is 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 really rewarding you when you and other athletes came on visits there were great leaders in this program uh when you think back to what they told you about the program and now that that shoe's on the other foot what does maggie bodman tell prospective Navy volleyballers about this program and, and obviously what it can do for them? That's that's a great question, Pete. I would say that you shouldn't be doing it for yourself, but you should be doing it to make those around you better. And through that, you make yourself better. I think for me, my mindset has always been to help everyone around me to be the best possible person and version of themselves that they can be. And through that, and through that journey that I'll, I'll find exactly what I need to do to do that for myself as well. So I would just say being a Navy volleyball player, you have to be a good person at the end of the day and you have to be a selfless and always constantly thinking about other people and how you can help other people become their optimal self. And so that, that's what I would say for sure. Well, as the father of a daughter, I can only hope that a few years from now, uh, she grows up to be just like you. You're a great representative of the program of the Naval Academy. And even though I don't get to broadcast it Saturday night, I'm coming over after the football game as a fan uh, to watch this uh, on Saturday and, and root you guys on. Best of luck to you and your teammates. I know it's a big week. And then obviously you got the Patriot League tournament. Uh, continued success and and good luck uh, reaching the goals that I know are out there uh, for you guys. Appreciate the time today. Thank you so much, Pete. I appreciate it.